Hi, and welcome to our 95th test and measurement video. Today's topic is the scale and position knobs in the Tektronix MDO 3000 series oscilloscope. The first thing to notice is that there are two separate sets of these pairs of knobs, and the differences between them bring to the foreground some profound issues, which, of course, we'll discuss in this video. A single set of scale and position knobs is located in the horizontal section, above and below the all-important Acquire button. They relate to the x-axis, which can define either time or the frequency domain. The other set of position and scale knobs is located above and below, respectively, each of the channel buttons. If the oscilloscope, like this MDO3104, has four channels, there are four position knobs above the four channel buttons and four scale knobs below. The knobs relate to the y-axis, which defines the signal in terms of volts or power. To see why there are multiple vertical scale and position knobs, but only one of each in the horizontal section, we have to understand the meaning of the word domain. In the study of pre-calculus, domain is the set of all independent variables, and range is the set of all dependent variables. In the oscilloscope configured to display the time domain, units of time are represented by horizontal dis distance along the x-axis. The single scale knob in the horizontal section can be turned by the user to expand or compress the time interval within each of the 10 industry standard horizontal divisions. And in that way, the waveform depicted spreads out until it appears to be an almost a flat line. Or it can compress so that the individual cycles cannot be discerned. Of course, time itself cannot be affected. What is altered is the way in which it is displayed on the oscilloscope screen. Time marches on at a rate that, as far as we know, does not change. In contrast, there is a separate set of scale and position knobs in the vertical section for each of the channels. We can display one, two, three, or four waveforms derived from separate signals in a four-channel oscilloscope, and there is a single horizontal scale. The waveforms are all linked because they are in the same display. If they were in separate displays, shown in split-screen format, their scales could vary with respect to one another. Amplitude is the dependent variable. Amplitude is a function of time, but by no stretch of the imagination is time a function of amplitude. That is why there is a single pair of scale and position knobs in the horizontal section, but a pair for each channel in the vertical section. Thanks for watching. New videos are added periodically, so check back frequently.